update on my 55 gallon I've got a lot of fish in here soon enough they will be moved into a 180 and a 240 the 300 won't be set up for a while but they will be okay because I've been changing water a lot every other day and every opportunity I get I change the water I've of my 20 years in the hobby changing the water makes a lot of difference I've known that to change the water is crucial but just this year I've realized how crucial it is for their growth for their color for their health just if you you can't be frugal about changing the water it just makes it's kind of like a person eating healthy drinking clean water if you drink dirty water you're probably gonna pollute yourself and make your lifespan shorter than it would be to drink clean water so same thing applies to fish give them clean water give them healthy food mixed foods they will live longer and happier my fish are very healthy uh, exception of maybe the torn fins for fighting nonetheless they're some of them might be overweight they just have a tendency to just eat and eat they don't know when to stop and of course that's fish's uh, nature they just eat and eat because they don't know when to stop and not only that they don't know if they're gonna get food again so it's just uh, fish nature or human nature or nature to just eat 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 if you're an animal so with that said uh, my besides my um, Burmese border loaches everything else is fattening up I'd love to see these um, border loaches get really round <laughs> some of them are pretty healthy uh, you can tell so the one that's uh, slightly to the bottom right is kind of skinny and the one that just came in to the picture a lot of these smaller ones are kind of on the thin side yeah these two that just swam and especially the one that's swimming uh, maybe that's just uh, the Burmy border loaches the yo-yo loacher yo-yo -yo lo loaches are getting looking fat so I like to get my um, Burmese border botillas to get that thick that'd be awesome